weeks. That's how long state lawmakers have to approve a budget. Today, Assembly Democrats presented their $150 billion budget. It has a larger increase in the minimum wage and public school aid than Governor Cuomo's proposed budget, and it also increases support for child care, as well as affordable housing and social services. Now, Democrats have a two-thirds majority of the Assembly. The Senate's Republican majority is expected to take a stance on the budget on Thursday. Joining us now are political analyst, New York Post political columnist, Fred Dicker. And Fred, we already know that the governor is threatening a late budget this year if they don't do something about ethics reform. What's going on? What, uh, is, this, is this budget presented today uh, just sort of the first salvo? How does this work? Yeah, these are the opening shots, Liz. That's a good way to put it. But there's something more serious going on in terms of what hasn't been done. Normally, after the governor presents his budget, and he did it in uh, January, as is always done, there are 30-day amendments that are submitted. And the governor did come up with these 30-day amendments that include things like what he calls ethics reforms. Mm -hmm. But interestingly enough, neither the Assembly nor the Senate is willing to submit those 30-day amendments to be considered right now. They have not been entered into the legislative process. That's seen as an act of defiance, quite correctly, by the legislature against the governor, who's trying to use the budget to bring about what he calls ethics reform, education reform, and take other actions, which the lawmakers are. You really have nothing to do with the budget. So there's a battle. A battle lines have been drawn. We've seen some preliminary action so far. And we did, uh, as you know today, see additional action in the uh, pr uh, presented budget from the Assembly, which increases spending in many areas that the governor did not call for. So if the lawmakers are taking umbrage to his putting this as sort of uh, part of the budget, even though they're not really budget items, are they likely to get it done on time? Well, that's a $64,000 question down here. I mean, the governor, as you noted, has threatened to hold up the budget or allow it to go past the uh, uh, April 1 adoption mm -hmm. date if he doesn't get what he calls ethics reforms. That's pretty extraordinary for the governor since he ran on a platform originally to end the budgets and when he, uh, budget delays. And when he won re-election last year, he was bragging about four on-time budgets. Bottom line, Liz, is that it's possible no one knows yet this is going to be a test of how serious the governor is about what he calls ethics reform. All right, we'll see where it takes us. On Thursday, we should know more, too, and we see what the Senate Republicans are up to. We have a sense of what it is, but you're right, we'll know more. All right, we'll look forward to talking about it. Thank you, Fred. Fred's on the radio, too. He'll be talking about it live from the state capitol every weekday morning, 10 to 11 on Talk 1300 AM.